2681. In the west, in the Orion system, communications with a small settlement on the third planet were lost. It was weeks before anyone thought to check in with them. When they did, they found the township in ashes. The advocacy immediately dispatched an agent to investigate. Initial visual from the sky indicate repeated strafing runs of airborne weaponry on multiple, presumably small craft. No obvious use of large bore weapons or bombs. Large scorch marks on eastern and southwestern outskirts of town indicate that this was where the attackers landed. Samples of scorched earth sent to labs for analysis. Angles of strafes are consistent with theory that the attacks came from multiple directions. Com Tower was damaged but did not look specifically targeted. Odd. If it were raiders, wouldn't their first target be the comms? On the ground, sweeps turned up strange shell casings for hard ammo scattered throughout the town. Doesn't look human in manufacture. We'll analyse. Forward onto advocacy agents with contacts in Banu Protectorate. Attackers were thorough, sweeping house to house. Killing everything and everyone here. Entire 638 population of settlement has been accounted for, except one. John Phillips, 38, a farmer. Nothing to indicate why he was targeted, if in fact he was. Analysis are delving into him. Will provide complete file when complete. Theft and robbery appears to be the chief motivation, but there is an inconsistency among the missing items. Sometimes objects of value are left, while seemingly useless and trivial objects have been taken. Agent Vasquez has discovered a small comlink camera that somehow was operational during the attack, scrubbed through the footage and found that it was mostly useless. There is one frame that when zoomed and cleaned up appears to give a brief glimpse of an attacker. Twenty seven fifty eight. The citizens of Boro thought they were ready. They had orbital defences, deep space scanners, auto locks. With all that, they thought that they were safe. But when a Vandal warband hits, you have to be more than ready. At 17.23 local time, the attack began. Fortunately, a call went out almost immediately. Local militia from around the system scrambled to their ships to rout out the raiders, but it wasn't until the UEE fleet arrived that the Vandal fled like cowards back into the dark of space. The Vandal attack lasted 27 minutes. In that time, 14 souls were extinguished and millions in property were destroyed or looted. 29th of May, 2789. Officers meeting. Went through the ComSec updates from the previous six hours. Nothing startling. Report of a weapons discharge on a Reaper class in the Kiel system. A deck cannon misfired after a computer error. No impact. Locally, our mirror was holding position. Reported for duty. Commander is still down with the bug. Ran system-wide diagnostic and validated weapon packages. Clear across the board. Watched our mirror run flight drills. Looked like rapid deployment simulations in Upper Atmo. Nil sounded like he was coming down with something. All was quiet, so I sent him to medical. His second was more than capable as a substitute. Finally got some chow. Boredom seems to be really getting to the crew. Some tempers even flared today in the mess. We'll relay to the commander and try to come up with possible solutions to relieve some stress. I don't know where to start. I was working on my battle sim assessment of the Xi'an carrier when Shaw alerted me to the news on the spectrum. Turned on bridge monitors. Apparently Senator Akari from Terra independently brokered a treaty with the Xi'an. It's supposed to take effect at 1900. The inter-system comms absolutely lit up. People thought it was a joke. Maybe some activists cracked the news orgs? Wouldn't be the first time. We couldn't honour this treaty, right? Should we arrest Akari for treason? The news wouldn't reach Earth for days, so no one knew what to do. I was just as dumbfounded as everyone else, so I notified the commander who immediately reported to the bridge. Everyone's still flying blind. All ships are on high alert, looking for any kind of aggression from our mirrors. So far, nothing. This could all be a Xi'an trick. I wouldn't put it past the slinks to try something this elaborate. Our Xi'an mirror recalled its fighter patrols, powered down its weapons, and backed away. I guess we're at peace? 12th of April, 2792. Good evening. This is the SSN CATV nightly news for the Terra system. I'm Lawrence Wren. The systems are abuzz about the upcoming wedding between Val Messer and Celia Carter, so tonight we take a look at the designers who have been selected to dress the 
humans of the systems, this is Tide. Pull the veil from your eyes and see. Garen 2 was a developing world with a vast array of species. We say was because they are no more. The Imperator and his corp minions terraformed the planet, killing everything to feed their insatiable greed. Pull the veil from your eyes and see for yourself. Day 1. Unauthorised gatherings. Ground units deployed. Air support set to standby. Descent fanned into flame and open revolt. The Guard, the Army, any and all military available gassing citizens. Day 2. Terrorists and subjugators are attempting to attack Earth. You are to stop all jump point traffic. I want every single system locked down. You are authorised to use lethal force on any craft that does not divert. Failure to comply will suffer swift retribution. Day 3. Operatives have uncovered how the insurrectionists are still communicating between systems despite the seizure of the comm relays. Comm messages are broken down into data segments and embedded into military communications. Analysts are trying to uncover exactly how they accessed our system. Unfortunately, it's going to take time to find and dismantle their entry points, but hopefully this will help disrupt them long enough to get the systems back under control. We'll update as necessary. Day 18. Brothers and sisters, we have just learned that two days ago, military and police forces opened fire, killing over 230 peaceful demonstrators on Vale. We have tried to be civil. We have resisted the urge to match the violence of this despotic government with violence, but now we say no more. We will no longer wage war with our ideas. We will rip the Imperator out of his throne. So strike out, brothers and sisters. Strike at the fiendish fist of your oppressor. Day 22. We have awoken from a nightmare. Those were the words spoken by the new Imperator Eren Toy yesterday, after announcing the capture of Imperator Messer the Ninth. It's a brand new day indeed. Even at this news org, long an unofficial mouthpiece of the Imperator, we are finally able and encouraged to write the truth, without UEE censors looking over our shoulders. It's hard to believe, looking back, that the incident on Garen 2 would be the powder keg that brought it all down. Sure, this wasn't a singular catalyst, there were incidents that built up to it. From the bravery of Senator Akari to the activists who rallied all those years despite incarceration or death. Aside from instituting term limits for the Imperator, Toy worked with newly elected senators to restore the tribunal positions of old. The new High General, High Secretary and High Advocate will work under the Imperator position but with the power to disempower them should another despot attempt to seize control. We woke up. Though the day we are facing is unknown, we have seen how far we can fall, so we must make sure that every step we take is a step up. Hello, it's me, the Queen. It's my Platinum Jubilee this year, and safety and security are paramount. Lots of people ask me why we need a Queen and Lord VPN. I defend the world with my scepter and crown, preventing those who do it harm from carrying out their evil deeds, channeling the power of nordvpn.com forward slash board gamer and my divine right, I can overcome any obstacle, and so can you, by using the links below to get great deals and better internet accessibility, security, and encryption acidosity. I don't know what that word was that I was trying to say, but I am the queen! I will never be defeated! Just like nordvpn.com forward slash board gamer. That wasn't the queen at all. It was me. It was Board Gamer. I've got to say this at the end, actually, now, just in case someone says I'm impersonating the Queen. Tried to get her, but she was too busy. She says got, like, a busy weekend or something. Every month, we have a ship giveaway. For June, we're giving away the newly released RSI Scorpius Heavy Fighter. This is a two-seater X-Wing-styled ship with a powerful loadout and a turret that can move from the top to the bottom of the ship, giving it a much better range of firing arcs. To be in for a chance of winning that, comment on any of my videos made during this month. More details in the description below. Please also consider supporting the channel by becoming a member with the join button under my videos, or becoming a Patreon, or even donating with thanks button or donations in the descriptions below. Star Citizen is getting more and more flesh on its bones, and there's always news coming out, and we love to cover that, and we're only able to do that because of all of you watching and all the amazing people that go the extra mile. Whether it's commenting, sharing our videos, chucking money at us or whatever, thank you so much. I hope you have a great June. Please take care, and I'll see you in the verse.